Hey everybody, this is Rock Paper Mario, and welcome to my first LP ever. And let's see what it is. Ninja. Yes, that's right. It's Luigi's Mansion, um, a game that came out for the GameCube in late 2002 or late 2001 or two in America, but earlier in the year um, here. So I was probably playing this actually. It's kind of funny, but I got the GameCube for my birthday, which is in July, um, and this was one of the first games I had on it. So it was probably around this time that I first played this game, which is kind of fun. Oh wait, we don't want to see that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll probably edit that out. Um, so let's press start. Okay, so that's my practice file. Um, let's go for a new game. Um, first, I'd just like to say why I'm doing this game. I've um, I've always wanted to LP since I saw my first one. Um, and um, the reason I chose this as my first one was, well, for there were a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, it's quite a short game, and I didn't really want to get committed to anything. Um, I'll just talk while this cutscene is going on. I didn't want to get committed to anything too long in case I ended up deciding, well, this wasn't really the best idea I could have had, um, which I'm sure won't happen, but um, you never know. Um, also, I, I always thought, well, this isn't an underrated game per se. Ooh, scary house. It's not an underrated game per se. I'd say it's an overhated game, if that makes sense. Um, I just think... The criticisms that are leveled at it most often, which are true, one one that it's really short really is the main criticism. Um, I don't know, I don't think they really hold water. Sure they're true, it is a short game, but I don't think that should make too much of a difference to the quality of game. I mean, it's still a little, it's a real little gem of a game really, and it, it's, it's a shame that people level so much criticism at it, mm -hmm. just because it's short. Um, I, I personally love this game. It has a real, I don't know, it just, whether it's nostalgia or what, it just really catches me. And, it, and it's a real GameCube game. Um, I mean, it was a launch game. It was one of the launch titles for the GameCube. So here we are walking around. Luigi has his flashlight. Um, basically, I should have explained, Luigi followed a map here. But um, it, it'll get explained what the story is. So basically what we have to do to advance the plot is pretend like we've played this game and never before in our lives. We've got to go, oh, can't do anything over here. Um, oh, look, maybe it's through this door. Oh, well, that's locked. What we've actually got to do is to go and try and open this door. And look, hand can't open the door. Um, you hear that ghostly noise there. Um, let's go downstairs and see what happens. Maybe it came from down there. Ha 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 ha. And oh my god, what is that? It looks like a ghost to me. It looks like a hog to me. <laughs> And it sees us, and for some odd reason, which I can't tell, um, it's afraid of us, even though we have no idea what it is and probably couldn't do a thing to it if we tried. Um, so yeah, it escapes into that room that was hitherto locked. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, and I, whenever I re I'd read that in books, because I was able to read from as when I was, well, late when I was three years old, I was able to read, which was really young, really, I suppose. And I always loved reading, so that dropped a key. I wonder where that key goes to. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I always loved reading, and whenever I saw that word in books, I always thought it was like hitherto. And it wasn't until maybe like I was about 11 or 12 that I saw it was hitherto. <laughs> so hitherto. So yeah, we get this whole Resident Evil thing of him opening the door, which I think is a cool little reference, seeing as this is a spooky game. Um, nice little Resident Evil reference of doors opening. And this will happen any time you open a new door. Hmm. We'll get into that later. So basically, this triggers a cutscene. Oh! And the music, I love the music in this game. All the harpsichord noise. And what is this? Get a ray! <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say that. There are so many references in this game to things like... Basically, Ghostbusters is the main one, but um, there are loads of references to you know, the survival horror genre of games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill as well. Oh, well, he didn't do very well, did he? This little character who talks in an odd way. Oof. That sure take a lot of docs in this line of work. I don't know why he talks like that. I'm getting too old for this ghost-catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor E. Gad. Oh, how funny. It's dripping with irony is what it is. This house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. Oh, does it now? It gets more and more haunted. Well, you, it's either haunted or it isn't. A young feller like you, he's hardly young. He's gone through puberty and everything. 
He has a mustache. Oh, three ghosts. Well, that's worse than one ghost. It's three times as bad as one ghost. Alright, youngster. Follow me post haste. And here's here's the laboratory. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Oh, nice. Hmm, where's this, you ask? Luigi's just like, hmm. Um, tell me where- Oh, he's scratching his ass. Luigi's scratching his ass. Let's see if he does it again. <laughs> Sorry. Where's this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Oh, so he's a ghost studier. Professor E. Gad's ghost research laboratory. The lab. What, like, Dexter's lab? The lab, if you're of a shortening mind. What, like, shortening bread? You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter. Well, that's a bad sign, first of all. When you get those things in the post, you should just throw them away, really. So you believe the mansion actually exists, then? Strange. Well, we we were in there. Of course it exists. Look, Luigi's not even listening to me. He's just looking around, going, where, where am I? He's coming out of a bad trip. Um, that mansion appeared just a few days ago, apparently. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream or an illusion or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Well, neither would I. Like that house in Poltergeist. Um, now that I get a look of you, I just recall a guy with a red hat kind of like yours went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat. Well, well, the nerve. And he never returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother. Oh really, they're only wearing the exact same clothes and look very similar. Oh no, that's horrible. It sure is. Um, he wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan, I'll teach you to deal with ghosts. Well, I'd like to know how to deal with ghosts. And he's like, yeah, sure. So these are the settings. You can change the settings to something all sidestep, which I've never done because I just think it's ungainly. I think the regular standard controls are much better. Basically, with with sidestep, um, you have to use the C stick to change his direction. Um, the control stick only moves Luigi. It's like playing Metroid Prime on the Wii, I suppose. Um, whereas standard, you have a bit more bit more leeway with how you move. So let's go with that. Basically, this is like a little tutorial section. And I'm sick and tired of seeing this thing. I, Since this is my first LP, I had to do test videos. And I've seen this. In the last week, I've seen this scene about six times. And I'm really sick and tired of it. So yeah. He's basically explaining you walk with the control stick. Um, and C stick changes your direction. And or will um, use the hoover. The hoover. The vacuum cleaner, I suppose, to anyone in the States who's watching. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. Yeah, get her, Ray. No wonder that didn't work. That was your plan. <laughs> so you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear, or something to that effect. Well, it's a good thing you know what you're talking about, I suppose. <laughs> Ghosts like darkness and they avoid- Oh, here's the cool music. I love this music. And this is the only place where you hear this music is in the train chamber, a place where you only go once in the game, really. So hit him with a flashlight beam. I'll explain that. Shut up, cat. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. He says tilt the control stick. I kind of moved all over the place. So hold B to turn off your light. Then when he gets close, stun him! And then suck and tilt. Yeah. Flash, suck, and tilt. That is hardly suggestive sounding, is it? So when you see it's hard, that's the time you, you suck them up. And I never noticed until I played this game with headphones, but if you're playing with headphones and you, you can hear the bass sounds much better, you can actually hear the ghost's heart beating, which I've never noticed playing this game for about almost 10 years. I've never noticed that before. So yeah, we get, we get, we get to practice quite a lot. We get to practice on about 10 ghosts here, which is surplus to requirements in my opinion. So yeah, we'll just continue flashing, sucking, and blowing. Or flashing, sucking, and tilting. God, I'm gone too far. Oh, he sends two out at us now. Oh. Well, I might be able to get the other one still. Yeah, sometimes you can get like three or four at the same time. So this is basically how the whole game is going to... This is, These are the mechanics the whole game hinges on. Basically using your hoover and the flashlight to catch ghosts. I don't know. Like there, I have three on the hook. Oh, I caught all of them. I don't think I missed one ghost. I don't think I've ever done that before. And look, Gad's freaking out down there in the corner. Oh, jeez, that reminds me. I hope my capture card isn't freaking out because this scene, for some reason, it made it slow down in some parts, so I hope that isn't happening. Wow! Ten ghosts! Positively dazzling. Dazzling with dazzle. I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. I'd say so. I mean, we better find him quickly. I mean, Princess Peach is probably after getting kidnapped about 50 times by now. I'm quite proud of it, you know. No, um... Yeah, we'll go to the gallery, I suppose. I, d I wasn't sure whether we would or not. Basically, this is the gallery. There's nothing here. 
But, um, well, if you hit these, press A to interact with things, then their wings start moving. That's basically the only thing you can do. Um, but the reason I'd come here is because unless you actually talk to him in the gallery, you don't have a clue what the story is. Unless you say, where am I, and things like that, he says, oh, this is the gallery, this is where I hang all my paintings, ghost paintings, that is. And unless you say this to him, you don't actually get explained what you're doing in the mansion. As far as you know, you're only finding Mario but he explains to you that oh there are ghosts that used to turn into paintings and then they all um and they all escaped when King Boo freed the freed Boo losses and the other ghosts from the paintings and they all turned back into ghosts and then they built the mansion but you don't find this out unless you actually take the trouble to talk to him here in the gallery I've got to keep an eye on my timer well I don't as much anymore it's quite serendipitous that YouTube has extended its time limit so yeah so the portrait ghosts are all inside the mansion and we have to get them back but he doesn't actually tell you that um, as well you can ask him what's a Game Boy Horror um, the Game Boy Horror is basically I'll show you that when we get into the mansion so let's go back to the lab first we're back in the laboratory Dexter's lab so then we go to the mansion Robin it's to the Batmobile and we get all this creepy music and approaching the mansion and he's just like yeah go on bye oh well yeah he's just like see you Luigi <laughs> it was good it was nice knowing you and there's Luigi with his back with his vacuum cleaner on his back in a, in a Ghostbusters fashion see this is what I'm talking about well who is this who might this be oh now you get to hear my award-winning toad voice well first let's look around oh, yeah. basically you can in oh, this is another thing I oh well I didn't want that to happen that's gonna try and fall on you Basically, this is something I really love about this game. You can interact with almost anything that you can see. If you can see it, then chances are you can hit it to see if there's something in it, or suck it with the hoover to see if there's something in it. So let's talk to Toad. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where did you go, Mario? Wah, wah! Huh? Luigi? Wow, wow! It's Luigi! You finally made it! Thank goodness! Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion and he never returned! Ah. Th 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 then, I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts and I didn't see Mario anywhere! I kind of freaked out a little! Yeah, you were, you were just cow- you were just in- yeah, like that, you were just doing that. Just sitting in a- in a fetal position, bawling your eyes out. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Well, she's probably not even at the castle. As far as I know, she's probably in someone else's vile clutches by now. But well, we say leave it to me while we scratch her ass. I never notice how much he scratched his ass in this game. He goes, yeah, sure. Leave it to me. Yay, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. Shouldn't there be another more positive adjective at the end of that sentence? You made my dark and stormy night a little less dark and or stormy. Um, so yeah. That's basically, and this is how you save, you save with the toads. So I'm just going to go never mind for the moment. And he says, talk to me for help any time. So yeah, well, we're up to about 13 or 14 minutes now, so I better leave it off there. So now you get to see Luigi's waggling nose, waggle, waggle, waggle. Um, so in the next part, we'll actually go catch some ghosts. So see you then. Hmm. And thanks for watching the first part of this LP.